Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Motion Brina, guys. Another tips and tricks videos, guys. Today's video, we're going to be covering how to build faster. So basically, this is a console tips and tricks for building. I know a lot of people out there have questions about this. And every time I make these videos, you guys kill it with the likes. I believe the first video hit, uh, what is it, 58,000 views and 1,800 likes. The second one hit 23,000 views with 1,200 likes. So if you guys do enjoy these building videos, Please give this video a thumbs up. The second this video hits a thousand likes, we're gonna go ahead and drop the next episode for building. So you guys already know what we usually do in these videos is we land Wailing Woods so that way we can get uh, 999 mats. So that way I'm not struggling to teach you guys anything like that. So we're gonna go over double ramps. We're gonna go over how to get high ground on somebody if somebody ends up building above you and stuff like that. So guys, stay tuned, stick around, and make sure you actually absorb this information. And this will help you out 100% if you're a console player. So stay tuned. But I'm not gonna sit here and let you guys watch me farm mats and stuff like that because that's going to be very boring so i'll see you guys when i have 999 wood all right you guys now we have 999 wood now the thing that sucks is we got a bad circle so we're going to spend a lot of our time running so i'll see you guys when we run to the circle hopefully there's nobody there so i can actually show you guys tips and tricks rather than having to fight people but some of you guys actually enjoy it when i get into a fight so that way you can actually watch how i use some of the methods that i tell you guys about in these videos so we'll see what happens we need a shotgun there's a person right here in front of us uh they're probably looted up they're over here breaking trees so they have a lot of mats we don't need mats what we need is a shotgun because our inventory is kind of trash right now just in case if we run into somebody we're gonna need something good so we're gonna go ahead and try and kill this guy right here real quick before we do these tips since he's busy whacking these trees down and stuff he's distracted there's another guy that just snuck up on him Right, that's what we're gonna do. I think there's another guy, but I don't know where he ended up running off to. Well, right, well, forget it. All right, so first off, what you guys just saw right there was a double ramp, double wall. I'm gonna show you guys the easiest way how to do that. A lot of people really love learning how to do stuff like that because it does make you a better player. It makes you look like a PC pro because a lot of the PC people, they they were ended up doing that, but they're actually more advanced now to the point where instead of doing double wall or double stairs, double walls like this, they're doing floorboards, stairs, floorboards, walls. They're doing that, that technique right there. So PC people are getting a little bit more advanced. It is extremely hard to do it on console. Um, I can't do it yet, but it can be done. I promise you guys that it can be done, but right now I'm not that advanced yet on console, so I cannot show you guys how exactly to do it with the best tips and tricks until I learn how to do it myself to the best ability that I can. And then once I learn, then I'll show you guys exactly how to do that. But for now, we're gonna cover the double stairs and double walls with the easiest technique on how to do it, so that way you're not struggling and stuff like that. All right, so now that we're closer to the circle, first off, what you wanna do is you want to be able to do it on Builder Pro. Builder Pro is probably the easiest thing to do. Now it can be done on the other Combat Pro and stuff like that in Quick Builder, but Builder Pro is the best bet for you guys. That's because it actually makes it very easy with uh, having each item to have their own key functionality. It's kind of like a PC key binding where if, as you guys can see, R1 puts a wall up, L2 puts stairs, L1 puts a pyramid, and R1, they each have their own thing. So technically, that's the best way to go when it comes to building double uh, stairs and double walls. And what you want to do is you want to go ahead, go to your stairs, and hold L2. That's all you want to do is hold L2, double stairs, and then hold R1, and just hold it. You're just holding it. That's all you're doing. You're pushing the button twice, and you're holding it, and you're going in a circular motion. Now, you guys don't want to play on a too high sensitivity where you can't control it, because you'll see a lot of people going like this when they do it. And, and they just can't control it where like they end up they just it's too high of a sensitivity you want to be able to control something where you can smoothly go in a circular motion where it's just circular motion that easy you guys now sometimes you can mess up but practicing is perfect and all I'm doing is tapping it once you guys I'm not I'm not over here spamming it and I just wasted so much mats doing this but we're gonna rush this guy right here There we 
we go. Hopefully they had mass that we can end up keeping. But yeah, that's the best technique that you want to do. You want to be able to have turbo building on so that way you're not spamming it. Because if you don't have it on, you're going to have to spam L2, 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 R2, R2. You're going to have to keep spamming it constantly. Now what you're going to do with turbo building is you're just going to tap it one time. You go to your stairs and then you tap it one time and you hold it. You can literally keep running and hold it. Look left and right and that's all you have to do basically. And then for the stairs, once you get the two stairs down, you switch to your uh, walls and you just hold R2. And that's bringing us to the next one, which is how to build a one by one as quick as possible. So you guys want to learn a little bit about building a one by one quick as possible. Hang on, let me go kill this guy over here shooting rockets so that way I can actually get more mats. Where'd this guy go? All right, you guys, so that last game, I did not have enough mats to show you guys exactly what I wanted to show you. But now that we have the double wall, double ramp out the way, like I said, again, all you have to do is literally hold it and just that's it. You don't have to keep tapping it. Just hold it, look left and right, and then switch to your wall, look left and right. And then you hold it, look left and right, right to left, left to right, right to left, left to right right to left and that's exactly how you're supposed to do the double ramp double wall as quick as possible while sprinting now again some people if you're having if you're struggling with this and you're not able to do it it's probably because your sensitivity is too high like i said if, if you're trying to do this and it looks something like this something like that that means your sensitivity is too high you need to try to lower it as much as possible so that way at least lower the x so that way you're actually able to look left and right perfectly and make it a smooth transition tra oh my god people love shooting me from the back But with that being said, now we can cover how to do the perfect one by one circle fast. Now I know a lot of people want to know stuff like this because you want to be able to look like a PC pro. You want to be able to have that quick building reaction to the point where the other person gets caught off guard and they don't know what to do. Like that other person, when I built up like that, she kind of sat there and didn't really know what to do because of the building. All the building that I was doing with the double ramps, double walls had her scared. She didn't know exactly where to look because there were so much reinforcements that she could not just shoot down my base. But like I was saying, the perfect one by one circle with speed. It it takes some time and practice, you guys. Uh, it's all about your sensitivity, really. Um, but you're basically just going to spin in a circle. And as you're coming down, here, it's kind of hard to show you guys exactly what I mean as I'm doing. So basically, you want to build a, per let me get in the circle and then I'll show you guys. Now, this all varies with your sensitivity on how fast you want to be able to spin and stuff like that. If you cannot control a high sensitivity with the double ramps, double walls and stuff, you do not want to play on a higher sensitivity. If you guys are curious about me, I play on 10-8 sensitivity. This might be too fast for some people. Even for me, still, it's still a little too fast for me. I'm just trying to get used to it and learn how to cope with it. But I used to play on 7-7 seven, seven sensitivity and that was a perfect sensitivity for me it was fast enough and I was able to get the job done so anything from 7-7 seven, seven and above would be a perfect sensitivity when it comes to building one by one so starting off we're just gonna get a normal little one by one going right here so first what you want to do is you want to be able to go to your your walls hold R2 because you're gonna have turbo building on you're gonna hold R2 and spin as quick as you can that's all you're doing is spinning and as you guys can see you're not tapping on each corner you're just holding it and spinning and it puts up a wall for each one now as you do that you're gonna go to as you're doing that you're moving to the top of your stairs that you just built and you're turning and you're jumping and you're putting a floorboard down and a wall down all in one jump so you're just now this this takes some practice because it's gonna take double tapping of R1 and L2 two times so you're gonna literally spin in a circle Double jump, double tap R1 twice, and double tap L2 twice. So that one takes a little bit of practice because you're going to be spamming buttons a lot, but the more you practice, the quicker you'll get, and soon you'll be able to just build like a PC pro, guys, where you're just basically going in circles and going all around you and doing it as quick as you possibly can. Now keep in mind, this does take practice, um, especially when it comes down to the double building. And what I mean by that is taking one jump to put down a floorboard and a ramp at the same time. That's when it actually gets really quick. When you're able to do that, that's when you know you're a quick builder and you're doing good at what you're doing. Now the next thing that I wanna show you guys, because I'm not gonna be able to run all the way over there and have mats. Ooh, there's a llama right there. We'll go over to this llama, loot this llama, so we have a little bit more mats. 
but there's no way I'm gonna have time to actually run all the way to the next circle. So I'm gonna show you guys real quick on how to get high ground if somebody else has high ground above you. Now there's multiple different techniques to doing this. I'm gonna show you guys my best technique and what I usually do. Oh, we have a launch pad. See, but that guy's trying to snipe us, so I don't know if it'll work. All right, so basically we'll start off with this, you guys. So if someone's building a ramp and you're building a ramp up to each other, this is going to be their ramp and this is going to be our ramp. Say you guys are ramp rushing each other and you're trying to see how to do it. So now let's say, for instance, the guy ends up getting above you like this. Now this happens where it happens all the time where you're literally right here next to them, but they're above you. What you can do is instead of just trying to turn around and run down your ramp or jump down and lose high ground, all you have to do is put a flat platform here and a ramp right here and then spin around Basically, after you do this, because the other person's going to know he's got high ground on you, what he's going to do is he's going to sit here like this and look down, try to find you. So if he sees that you put this ramp here, you're going to be open and exposed to him right away because you're literally on the same level as him. So the second you put down this ramp right here, you have to spin and put down walls all around you. Again, you're holding R2 and you're just placing walls all around you. Then you put a ramp up here and you have high ground on him. Now sometimes when he sees you doing this, what he might do is he might go ahead and do this and this and it's gonna make you lose high ground on him. So the second you lose high ground on him, like this, where he has high ground on you, this is a t sticky situation. What you wanna do is instead of just trying to break it down or anything like that, what you can do is you can either, you can either put a platform right here above you to trap yourself in here so he won't fight with you and open up the sidewall and then build ramps going up like this looking up and down just to build ramps like this and then spin around and do that just like that you guys i'm gonna need to take this launch pad so again like i was saying say the other person has the high ground on you like this and you're sitting here and you get stuck like this where you can't build anything again put a floorboard down and turn it sideways you can try to go up too and do this but again, the longer, the higher up you go, the more of a chance you risk yourself of being seen by this guy and getting shot at. Now say you do go up too and he goes like this and he gets above you again, like this. Now he's gonna be above you. So what you wanna do is just put a roof over your head, protect yourself, but you gotta be quick with it. Once you put the roof over your head to protect yourself, edit any wall out so you can get out of here and go a different direction. And then once you go that different direction, put up more ramps and try to get above the other person like that. There's some fighting going on over here. Let me try and fight this out. But there you guys have it. That is probably the best ramp rushing tips and tricks. If somebody gets above you like that, what you want to do is just try to switch your angles up. And that's all it is. Instead of going straight at each other like that, you can switch it up and go left or right or any other direction that you want. You don't have to abort that mission because the second you abort, they have high ground on you. They're going to be able to come down to you and shoot you from above, which is something you do not want to have. You want to fight for high ground. So in my suggestions and tips and experience keep your building mats out to find out what they're exactly doing so that way you know if you have to keep building up to go up or if you're going to have to be able to pull out your gun and shoot them because they don't know what's going on but there you guys have it the best tips and tricks when it comes to building on console so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys please can again give this video a thumbs up if we can break a thousand likes we'll go over some more advanced techniques and stuff like that and we'll cover whatever you guys want me to cover so leave down in the comment section below the best tips that you guys want me to cover when it comes to building like for instance say somebody has high ground above you by a lot what do you do in a situation like that where you have one health or anything like that you guys make up the scenario down in the comment section below and i will go ahead and try to give you guys the best tips and tricks on that so with that being said i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you in the next video peace <laughs>